Marsha tries cosmetics for the first time. <laughs> 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 Today we have on the channel a woman who is beautiful, talented, an incredible competitor, a drag queen. I mean, just a star. Oh, thank you. That's and really nice. I was so happy we could have you on the channel because I too was bullied on Drag Race for not wearing any makeup. <laughs> I went through the same experience. Yes. I'm glad that I can be here in trauma bond with you. I know. So I thought today for the video, I thought you have a different approach to makeup than I do. So mm -hmm. I thought that I could maybe have the opportunity to put you in like Trixie drag. What do you think about that? I would love it and I think it'll give the kids what they want. No, I, no, the kids <laughs> love you who they are, but the kids are also obsessed with extremes, right? Yes, they, they want sure somebody are. who has a soft approach like mm -hmm. me. Yes, of course. And somebody who wears a lot like, like me. you. Yes. Yeah. So we're gonna rearrange the lighting a little bit in the studio here, and we're gonna start getting this woman in Trixie drag. So before we do, please subscribe to the channel because I mean, look at the quality of guests. Come on. Whew. We have to get into it, but I would say that you and I have probably different approaches to makeup. Mm -hmm. um, <laughs> probably. Because there's some people who wear a lot, but it doesn't look like a lot. Uh -huh. And there's some people who don't wear much, but it looks heavy handed. Yes. So the amount of makeup, you're not wearing any, exactly. you're not wearing enough. That conversation is not really relevant. What's relevant mm -hmm. is like for the lighting, for this show, for whatever. Mm -hmm. Is that the right amount of makeup for this? For sure. Like there's thing, when I saw myself on season seven and watched it back, I was like, Okay, there's, that's not how I thought I looked. We're learning. Yeah, absolutely. This is some Care Bear Brighten Your Day Serum. I'm obsessed. I like it, so Good I just Brian. want your face to be like kind of. But please. This is, I can't believe you're here. It's so I crazy. Know. Like you watch people on TV and then they show up in your house and then I what? Know. I can say the same thing about you. Yeah, totally. Does your facial hair grow quickly? Oh yeah. A little twink stash Ooh. going on here. I'm just gonna draw over it. Please, yeah. You're like, I shaved five minutes ago. I truly, I shaved like an hour before I got here. Oh, you have hair. I sure That's do. That's fun. <laughs> it's like fun and different. <laughs> Was that like? You know, well, when you're bald, you just like don't have to worry about what's gonna happen, but you have yeah. to like pin your hair down and everything. I usually just put a wig cap on. Yeah, that sucks. <laughs> I mean, for drag, it's so nice not have hair. You can I'm just sure. glue your head. We're using a Trixie sponge because we care about quality and I'm using sure the Makeup is. Forever Matte Velvet Foundation. So how did you start putting makeup on in your life? Like how did you fall into putting makeup on? My freshman year of college. Cause you have a BFA in musical theater. Musical theater. Oh, Me yeah. too. Yep, everyone in the room. Gay rights. <laughs> Gay rights, yes. Yeah, I went to the Boston Conservatory. <gasps> cool, so um, did you ever see Katya when you were in college? I did not, but we went to Dorothy's all the time. I wonder if you went when she worked there. Probably not. Um, my freshman year was the year season seven aired. Wow. And that was the first season that I watched. Like, in... I was the first season you watched? Yeah. Oh my God, trauma. <laughs> no, season seven is one of my favorites, if not my favorite season. Okay, see, I just talked to Lux about this. I said, I know at the time season seven got really on, but I think it's aged really well. It's, it's just like the group of people is absolutely Unbelievable. You have Kennedy Davenport. You get Violet. You, Katya, Pearl. Pearl. Fame. It's a great season. I, I love Max. I loved Max then. I it's will, all making sense. I will love Max forever. <laughs> <laughs> you saw Max and you said, I like her, but she has a little too much makeup on. Yeah, a little too much. <laughs> I love season seven. That was really the first season that I watched like in real time. And cool. It was my best friend my freshman year of college was just like, oh, do you watch Drag Race? And I was like, well, what is that? I had never even heard of it. You were straight. Oh yeah, totally. Yeah. You were like, no, but let's watch some Fast and the Furious. My idea of straight people is that they watch Fast and the Furious and smoke. That's I don't it. know why. No, that's it. But that's... They, they just put out another trailer for Fast and the Furious. And I was like, another? I just don't get. It's the 10th one. How fast don't... can you go? How, how furious can how you get? Can you... Was it crazy to see yourself on television for the first time? It was, especially after filming everything. Uh -huh. And I knew what was said to me so frequently about my face. I was like, I don't know what I'm gonna look like in any of these episodes. Because every single episode it was like, oh, well, let's try and do this differently. Let's try and do this differently. So I had truly no memory of what I looked like the whole time. And then right. 
watching it back, I was like, okay, there are strong days, and <laughs> there are less strong days. Well, I hope I'm not flattering you too much when I say that you aren't somebody who has a face that needs a thousand pounds of makeup. Thank you. Versus, you know, for me, for Trixie, if I hadn't done the Trixie thing, mm -hmm. my face out of drag was never going to turn into a woman's face. I was never sure. going to be able to do a soft, have you seen when Scott Barnes did me? Yes, I did. So you know. I mean, it was it was beautiful. I, I felt beautiful, uh -huh. but I know that in the past, sometimes I feel beautiful and that's not the case. <laughs> But it's important sure. what you feel. Yes, yes. So, okay, I think there's some explanation that needs to be done about how my drag makeup ended up what it was when I got there. Yeah, so, tell us all. <laughs> so, we want to know. The year leading up to the year that I auditioned, that was like lockdown. Like we were all in our right. homes and everything. <gasps> and that's when I really like buckled down and started doing drag like for fun uh -huh. and like experimenting with it simultaneously. I was also on Accutane. <laughs> oh. And I had the weirdest side effect from Accutane pregnant. where pre yeah, I, I was pregnant. My nose and my eyebrows would sweat like profusely. What? That would start happening and I would put a paper towel on it and there would be like beads of sweat coming out of my eyebrows. So I was like, okay, I can't cover my eyebrows. And then I would start posting things with my eyebrows uncovered. Uh -huh. And everyone was like, oh my gosh, you're so pretty. You don't need to wear a lot of makeup. And then I was like, oh my God, great. And then I auditioned for Drag Race. And at this point, the lockdown thing had kind of been lifted and I was performing in the city here and there. And that was the in first thing. Yeah, New York. And What are your bars? Are you a pieces girl? Are you an industry girl? Well, I had a show at the Duplex, which is right next to Stonewall. Sure. Where famously no one died. <laughs> yes, no one depending on who you ask. But that only, that lasted for a very brief amount of time because then I got on the show and I left. Um, but these days, we love Verse. Verse is a new bar that opened in Midtown and some of my besties have a show there that I go to all the time. Tuesdays are my favorite days because we can go to Pieces and it's Two Stupid Queens, Kiki Ball Change and Castrata. Yes, Kiki Ball Change. She's the bomb. Kiki Ball Change is an amazing name. <laughs> Let's see. Um, so look right at me. So we got to do this little eye thing here. Like good luck. No, it's gonna be fine. This is actually gonna be really. This is a really good makeup for. If we're talking anatomy, this person does have a full brow bone. I sure do. This Trixie makeup is a good makeup for people who have a full brow bone. Again, this is not makeup that is hinging on someone being naturally like soft. We're rewriting history. One hundred percent. You know how like Republicans say certain historical events didn't happen. Mm -hmm. That's kind of what we're doing with makeup. I think most people would agree that your makeup. Is, is Republican. Is Republican. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> My makeup's Republican because it's based on lies. <laughs> I mean, there's not many people in the world who've gotten the Trixie makeup on them from the Trixie, so this is I kind know, of a I'm, cool thing. I'm honored. I'm really, really excited about it. This is going to be great. I'm not nervous at all. This makeup's going to be amazing. I'm so excited. Yeah. Ooh, the rebel's kicking in. You're going to look crazy. <laughs> <laughs> there's a thumbprint on your forehead from me touching you. Yeah, I've never had an eyebrow, an eyebrow up here. This is when it starts to look crazy. Like mm -hmm. when it's just a couple features, it's like, how is this happening? But yeah. it, it does turn out. Where I are promise. we gonna go? Besides, you're a very young, beautiful person. Mm -hmm. If this makeup works on me, why would it not work on you? Like, <laughs> you're you know also what I mean? very young and beautiful. Well, thank you. But for, you gotta understand, I'm not old, but by drag standards, 33 is one foot in the grave. I always say that in drag, everybody's either 21 and fresh and excited, or they're like a lifer who's 50. Mm -hmm. Everybody in their 30s had the good sense to quit or go missing. <laughs> like everybody, yes. you know. Everyone thinks that I'm very, very young. How old are you? I'm 26. Oh, wait, you're not as young. I thought you were closer to 21. Like I'm gonna do the other one like this. I just yeah. have to. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Because if it's uneven, it's gonna be in the video. And it's okay if it's my face, because mm -hmm. my brows are always uneven. But if it's you, people are gonna be like, it's uneven. Um, were you scared of RuPaul when you met her? No. Okay. Yes. okay. No well, one's scared again, of her but me. Again, like because I just I just met my life idol. Oh right. And absolutely was like, oh, I can go home today. I'm I, that this was this made it worth it. And then um, RuPaul came in and I was like, oh yeah, you're also here. <laughs> yeah. So you really were more of there for the meet and greet aspect. You were like, I don't oh. care what happens. You know. <laughs> oh, I because I mean, I have been doing drag for like a year and a half. I was like the likelihood of me winning this competition is quite low. Um, so we're gonna go in, we're gonna have a good time, we're gonna make friends, we're gonna do some drag, and if we happen to win some money along the way, amazing. And don't worry, I, I did not win any money. Not That's a okay. single cent. You know, um, I lost season seven two times. Two times, yes. So like, losing is fine. A lot of great drag queens lose, it's mm -hmm. fine. It's oh, totally fine. Oh, absolutely. I honestly think once you come, once you make peace with losing, competing actually gets easier. 
Oh, I'm, that's the kicker. Yeah. Once you accept that you're probably not gonna win, then you start yeah. doing good. Exactly, that's exactly what my whole thing was. I went in, I went, I'm just gonna have a good time because I don't have any control over what's gonna happen here. <laughs> Besides, winning only means something because everybody's so good. Mm -hmm. If there was one totally. great person, everyone sucked, it wouldn't be impressive to win. <laughs> yeah. It's impressive to win because everyone's so amazing. Mm -hmm. And I learned so much from it too. Like that was honestly one of the, the, the best parts of it is that every single person there at some point gave Tol me advice or told me something that I needed to hear and it was wonderful. And now we're, we're all actually really close friends, which I really like. You're like, everybody took time out of their day to tell me what they thought of me. Um, yep. <laughs> Everyone had a, a, a little piece of advice had a fun on how little to fix advice. my face. I think I expected reads on my makeup mm -hmm. and I never, I never got one negative comment from the really? judges on my makeup. Work. Even in season seven when I deserved it. So I think I was just doing something so weird that the judges were like, I don't know how to critique this person's like, I don't know what to say. The thing with the makeup critiques was that in the moment, I, like it, it didn't make me like upset or anything like that. I was just like, okay, great. This is like a thing for me to work on. It's definitely like improved my relationship with makeup because like before it was just like a thing that I did just so I could- Just to, to get to the stage. Yeah, exactly. So you're not like a makeup nerd. It was more like a means to an end. Yeah, but now I like it a lot more and I have a lot more fun with it. What are your favorite uh, brands? Like who do you love to use? Honestly, we got a bunch of Anastasia stuff. So I use a lot of that. They make beautiful products. They really, really do. But I use a lot of your stuff too, cause well, y'all you. sent me stuff. I use your bronzer every day. I the bronzer and the- The paint. daisy. Amazing, right? I love it. I know. Of course, the Marie Marshall lip gloss. I know. Uh, when you went on Drag Race, I was like, that already product existed. And I was <laughs> like, I wonder if this person knows or cares. I felt, if you already were on Drag Race and I had that out, I probably would have tried to like, work with you uh -huh. on it. But I, I obviously live for the Brady Bunch, which you must as well. Uh -huh. So there, wait, there's a Marsha, Marsha, Marsha. Mm -hmm. There's a Jan. There's a Jan, wait. <laughs> What's up with Cindy? I guess We're we could waiting. do Candy from the, the wait. one with Candy as Cindy Brady with a gun oh like gun. this. It's so funny. It's so amazing. See, this is, by the way, this is off the rack. This is why you line outfits. It's just white. <laughs> oh, this makeup's gonna be amazing. I'm sorry. Like it's gonna turn out and it's gonna be incredible. So, didn't you do many, many years ago? Didn't you put it on Willem? Yes, up? yes, yes. I did uh, paint you bitch with the iconic Will Willem. I remember she looked incredible. Yeah, and we had a viewing party that night for Drag Race uh -huh. and she like, there's, there's so many clips of her, like people just look funny in Trixie makeup. So uh -huh. like once they have so much of it on and they're just sitting there, you just have to laugh. <laughs> a lot of people's makeup translate, but this makeup specifically, it just, people don't even look like themselves anymore. Like they just look like a different person. It's so mm -hmm. funny. Did you have like a makeup kit for theater school? Like character kit one? <laughs> no, I, we didn't, We did. I don't think Boko has any like makeup classes like that. Honestly, a lot of the time, anything like visually creative that I was doing at school. I did hair for a couple of the shows. Oh, really? Because ever since I was little, I've been really, really fascinated with it. Like I, if, I, if I'm wearing any kind of large hair, which happens every once in a while. I was while. gonna say, when is this? <laughs> is the large hair in the room with us now? Yeah. <laughs> it's on my head. <laughs> uh, yes. I, I, I did this wig. It's, you looks, did do this wig. It beautiful on you. That was really cool of her, you guys. If you guys wanna know, she's been behind my wigs for years. <laughs> and without her, I always had flat wigs on and she was like, no, you should wear bigger wigs. I think, you can, I think you can do more just because of how I perform. Slutty. <laughs> not, like thrashing. Not even the thrashing. It's just, I do a lot of- Let me get a hair clip. Nobody oh, move. They wanna see me do all the flips and the, the stunts and stuff. And I I tried to do it in like big styled hair. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> it was similar to this. And I just, I was like, I'm gonna lose this wig in yeah. two minutes. And it's in just, literally two minutes. It's just not, it's not sustainable. Or you know what's worse? If you start to feel like you're gonna lose it, it's then it's just distracting. It's all you can, think about. It's all you can think, about. think about. And people don't realize that if you think your wig is slipping, it completely dominates your brain function. Uh -huh. My two lip syncs, one of them was with Anitra, which that was the big one. That was coined the, the best lip sync of the season. That was crazy. Like y'all are really trusting. Like y'all just wanna die on Drag Race. Some a of little, the you guys do. You're like, what if I just get a high heel in my eye? It's yeah, worth it. It's worth it. It's <laughs> worth it to stay another week. Yeah, it's worth it to stay another, to work another 12 hour day. How many episodes have you come with at this point? We're up to like 200 something. How are you still thinking of new things to talk about? We're not, <laughs> we're struggling. No, we're starting to do old topics again, because okay. for example, okay, so money, changed. Yeah. seven years ago, we have new stories about money. Inflation. Or new idea. Yeah, inflation. Inflation. One of our themes that we want to do is just Jiggly Caliente. 
<laughs> Amazing. Just her as a concept, her as an institution. Uh -huh. We go through her looks, we go through her Instagram. I think that'd be just like a fun theme. Yeah. Wealth, marriage, Jiggly Caliente. Caliente. I think that'd be so funny. Girl, this is so fierce. I'm so excited to see it. This is gonna make you never wanna wear makeup again. <laughs> You're gonna be like, be great. oh my God, the symmetry on this is so egregious. <laughs> That is so embarrassing. I'm gonna have to read this book. How did you get your drag name, obviously, from... <laughs> obviously I'm from, assuming you yes. didn't pick Marsha, 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 and then find out about Brady Bunch later. It, yeah. That exactly. would have been pretty amazing, but hard to hold up in court. <laughs> <laughs> um, I love the Brady Bunch, of course. I love Marsha Brady, I think. Have you, um, have you, have Maureen McCormick DM'd you or anything? No, I, I met Eve Plum at an event earlier this year and she was, it was before anything was even announced. Nina West in, uh, introduced me to her. But I, I picked it because I love the 60s and the 70s. I love an era that is so easily recognizable just by like the visual. Uh huh. I love a lot of the, the fashion references at that time. My costume and I literally watch Brady Bunch and we pull screenshots from mm -hmm. like for outfits because the girls dress good. Florence Henderson in that show. Oh my God, I know. Her outfits are amazing. They are. Um, for a mom, she always looks so chic and fresh and like not too mommy, but still kind of maternal. Yes, that and just like that energy that Marsha Brady kind of had. It was just like this, effortless, good at everything, popular, pretty, smart. Yeah. And then I love the little twist that the movies put on her that made her just like an absolute monster sometimes. Oh, I was gonna say, you have to know about Christine Taylor. Oh my gosh, it's, it's really secured my love for the character. When she goes, Jan, you don't have any friends. Oh my God, it's, it's so the fierce. Thing in the world. What's his name? George <laughs> Tropicana. I don't know anybody in George Tropicana at our school. Our school, that's funny. Someone calls her like pretty in one of the movies, and she goes, "I know." Oh yeah, and it's my, and I say it all the time. Also, I love at the the Naz movies when Davy Jones is playing at the dance. Oh my god, and her dance the is teacher. like this. <gasps> mm -hmm. Like it's, it's so, so crazy. All right, God, I gotta do the bottom of this now. I'm just gonna just go for it, whatever. Does that make you feel good when the makeup artist is like, "Who cares?" <laughs> but you know what? Everything we do now, we're gonna be embarrassed of later. Exactly. So just let it happen. That's what I keep saying about. <laughs> my time on the show. Are you, how, do you, how do you feel about the way you did? Do you feel great about it? Yeah, I, I feel really good about it. I had a very positive experience because I'm very happy not everyone does. I just, yeah, my expectations for myself were kind of low going into it. So I was like, if I make it past the first episode, I'm a superstar and I made it really far. Okay. I made it farther than a lot of people that have been doing drag for a very long time in that group, so. Not to mention Drag Race is extremely hard. No one wants to say it, it's extremely hard. I didn't think it was. <laughs> well, you weren't busy with, you know, applying makeup. You sure, know, like, I, yeah, I, I, could, I could focus on other things. Right, everybody else was doing Drag Race and you were like, should I put on my concealer now? Or like, what should we do? Why is everyone so tired? <laughs> no, I just, I am very used to that kind of a schedule, that kind of... Well, you're a New Yorker. You're yeah. on the train, you're getting a bagel, you're yeah. getting a coffee, you're a, yelling. A bagel. Is there anything you would do differently watching? Is there anything, because when I did Drag Race, I would be like, these judges and then I watch it and go oh, oh yeah. I see what they're saying that didn't look right or whatever mm -hmm. do you have those moments um please say no not <laughs> she's like I stand by it whatever I, no no I mean everything that the judges said I saw reflected uh-huh on the screen of course but I think um there are just in terms of the makeup thing alone there are a lot of people that have gone on drag race whose makeup they were wearing more than me but they looked significantly worse than I did. A hundred percent. It's not about lack of makeup. It's yeah. never been the relevant conversation. And I gotta do your lip. Yeah, so whatever you're thinking, I need you to think okay, it. Okay, I'll think it okay. really, really hard. Have you ever drawn your lip on that big? No. It's giving mustache so. at this stage. Down waters. Down waters. I just saw Nina Weston hairspray at the Dolby Theater. Mm -hmm. She was so f***ing amazing. It was actually oh, one of the best oh. live stage performances I've ever seen. Really? Yes, she is so funny. <sighs> the singing, the dancing, she plays that character so funny and so endearing when I'm she sure. like gets in her drag in the in the show, you know, mm -hmm. hairspray. Yeah. The musical. Yeah, I've, I've heard when that. she comes out in her dress, you like almost cry. You're like, oh, oh, you're so happy. Wait a minute. Why are they so symmetrical on her? But when I do it to myself, it doesn't work. Look how symmetrical that is. <laughs> that never happens for me. And I sit here and whatever. Maybe it's my face. Let's just all say <laughs> it. Still have to step off camera and do lashes. I have to go make them. So when we come back, she's going to have lashes, hair, and a Trixie <sighs> outfit on. And it's going to be two Trixies. Ooh. So we'll be right back. Are you ready for the big reveal? Bum, 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 bum. <laughs> <laughs> 
That is so crazy. <laughs> it's really good. Ooh. 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 It's really good. I need to stop putting people who are younger and thinner than me <laughs> in my drag because it really makes me go, hmm. That there's, could be me there's 10 no years difference. ago. I don't see any. God. It's really <gasps> crazy. You know what? Thank you for doing this. You have such a different look than me. <laughs> this makeup is so funny because it's like a stamp. You look really completely is. different. People wouldn't even think you're you. You couldn't identify the body at all. Not at all. If you walked through DragCon, Dead. people would chase you and think it's me. And then they would go, oh. oh. And they would think you're just some random girl. Just some random girl. Look at the makeup you got. <laughs> I'm so happy with it. This was so fun. You are such a beauty and this makeup really suits you. I'm gonna do this from all time from now on. <laughs> yeah. Like, that's the only response. This was a blast. I, I love you and I love your makeup exactly <laughs> the way you are, but this was such a fun little departure. You gotta come back on the channel and make me you. We forgot the, the finishing touch. The finishing touch. <laughs> ba -ba <bum>. <laughs> I was <laughs> waiting till you got here to open this. Oh, thank you, it's so sweet. Oh my God, it really is what I thought it would be. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so this is Marsha's uh, product that she sent to me. Of course I did. And we have a lovely pair. Love this component. Love these little lashes. Wispies. <laughs> ah. Very, 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 very beautiful, beautiful <laughs> lash. This is very appropriate for anyone. Uh, especially you, specifically. Men out of drag could wear these lashes. <laughs> yeah. They are like, if you have a form of alopecia, this is your lash. <laughs> Absolutely. I would wear these as bottoms. I would. And then some lip balms. So let's just. Oh, yeah. This one's peach. Yeah, the peach is my favorite. Oh. And now it's done. And now it's finished. And now it's finished. Finally. Now, if you're a simple gal who uh, looks great in the direct sunlight because you're a natural beauty, I strongly recommend <laughs> Marsha's products. But if you're a dog like me, you have to make do with this. How beautiful does she look? If you guys like this video, please share it and you can follow Marsha. Where can they find you? You can find me across all social media at uh, MarshaX3NYC. Fabulous. Hope I never move. We'll see you guys all very, very soon. And uh, Marsha and I love you very much. Goodbye. Bye. This was so fun. It really was.